Hi, we will be doing this soldering application with our standard capacity plier system and with the help of one of our uh, adapter pieces, the model 105Y10. And Virgil, take it over. Okay, for this application we have a thermocouple billows assembly and what they want to do is use a preform. So we've taken some solder wire and all you need is a mandrel that's about the same size. This is actually the piece that's being soldered in this instance. So we've wrapped some solder around this mandrel and then what we do is just carefully slide that off and then we separate these into individual rings and these are what you would have as preforms. Now what we found is that there's not really enough solder in a single layer of this so we've wound these around to have a double preform. We're going to go ahead and put this on top of this uh, shank that's in the middle that's going to be up inside of the billows assembly. And what we're going to do is the uh, 105Y10 adapter allows us to take the handpiece and to join both of the uh, conductors to this handpiece to one side of the output of the power unit. And then what we've done is we've made a return harness going to this brass plate that's going to be our return uh, current in order to be able to supply um, current for this to work. We've placed this on here. And we've got a run light here so that you can see the actual uh, dwell time that it's going to take to go ahead and flow the solder in this. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start the heating process and then I'll go ahead and lower this billows onto the shank and then you'll, you'll see it uh, relieve itself down into the liquid solder as that melts. So here we go. And I can see that just lowered down on there, so I know I've got liquid solder all the way through. The billows were sitting in the liquid solder, so now I've got good saturation and good wetting. Now it's going to take a moment for this to cool off because of the amount of mass that we've heated up to do this assembly. But when that cools, we should have a very nice hermetic seal in this assembly, and then they'll test that when they, we send these back to them. I'm going to go ahead and do one more of these, just to make sure we've got some good film footage for you. We we'll start the same process, and as you can see, this has already got the uh, double piece of the um, preform solder already on it. We'll go ahead and stage the handpiece back in here again. You grab a fresh billows over here. And again, we can just watch this for uh, the billows to sink, and that's verification that we've liquefied the solder all the way around. And I can see that it's wetted, and there it goes. So we should have two completed assemblies to send back to the end user.